Hey guys, welcome to the Cyberspace VR YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Oculus Quest using the link cable. Um, I just want to show you guys how to do this. I'm, there's some guides out there, but I just wanted to show how easy it is if you guys were thinking about getting a Quest. Um, so the Quest link cable, if you buy the actual brand one, there's a lot of reasons why I actually recommend getting it. The chief and most important reason is that it's going to be a high quality cable. You know it's going to work. Um, you, and if it doesn't work, you know it's not the cable, at the very least. So, uh, you take your Quest, and I recommend the first thing you should do is take the Velcro strap that comes with it, and before you even plug it in, you wrap it around and just get that into place, okay? So you get that into place on this, and then you can slide this up, plug it in, and then I even recommend sliding this up even more to right there, okay? So the reason why you wanna do that is because, or why you wanna hook it up first is because it's easier to get it around here when it's not plugged in. When it is plugged in, it's kinda of difficult to maneuver, but that's how you basically get it synced up so that when you yank on it from here, it yanks on this Velcro and not on the port because that's not what you wanna be doing. That's really easy. And then make sure you have um, the Oculus Store and um, I usually have Steam booted up as well. If you have Steam games, if you own an Oculus device, you kind of know that there's some weird stuff that goes on in between them. Specifically, when the Oculus sleeps, it kind of makes things go strange. So what I recommend doing is not booting up the game directly on your computer. You just do it all inside your own headset. So that way, everything works perfectly fine. So this end goes in your computer, obviously, in the USB-C port. Back here, excuse the cord mess. Then this way, and then it should pop up with a prompt. Choose what happens to this device. Oh no, sorry, wrong thing. Devices, and then my Oculus Quest 2 is set up already, but basically it's, it'll just uh, prompt you inside the headset. It'll say, would you like to use the link cable? And of course, I'm going to want to say yes. So just give me a second for it to boot up. So. This device is connected, blah, blah, blah. You just hit allow, create guardian, do the whole nine yards, you know how it goes, set the floor level. And I'm just gonna go stationary boundary for right now. And then once you get past that, it'll say enable Oculus Link, it's a beta, and you hit enable. And then you're in. So I am currently in the Oculus Link software. You can't see what I'm seeing, obviously, but on the left hand side, it'll show your profile. And um, for me, Steam VR is in my most recently used, but if it's not, you can just go to library. And then I just go to, if your games are in Steam VR, just go directly to Steam VR and it'll boot up there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these straps on. But once you're in Steam VR, everything works pretty standard and normally. So then you can just boot up games directly from there. So um, this button, on this side is the oculus button and that'll take you to the oculus menu then this button on this side will take you to the steam menu if you're using the steam home vr so i'm just going to boot up pistol whip from my steam menu so this is a steam game i have that i'm running through the oculus link into the quest so it's really easy to set up um it's it doesn't take much time at all um but yeah i'm in here i'm ready to go so i'm just gonna Play a game. I love the way that this works. Um, I think it runs really well. It's really stable. Um, the resolution's amazing when you have it hooked up in the Quest. So, I don't know. I think it's the best of both worlds. But, obviously, you need a couple things. You need to have a USB-C port on your computer. Um, if you don't, then it gets kind of weird. So, for example, Landon, he doesn't have a USB-C port on his motherboard. So he actually can't even use the Link um, software. I'm, I'm curious to see if anybody has any uh, any adapters or anything that they use to get the, the Quest 2 working if they don't have a USB-C adapter, or maybe you guys use a third-party cable that just goes USB 3.0 to USB-C. That'd be awesome. Um, let us know in the comments what you guys use to do the Oculus uh, Quest Link deal and uh, 
Hopefully it works just as easy as it did for you. Uh, this is super easy though for me. It's just plug and play basically. Um, one issue you might run into, for example, so I just took off the headset and we'll just let it go to sleep for a second. See what, <coughs> see what happens. Because I know with the Rift S, it had problems, but it looks like it's working better. Okay, it just went to sleep. Let's see what, what we got here. So I just went to sleep. Let's see what happens when I put it back on. And we're right back in. So it doesn't even have the same problems as the Rift S. It actually works better. So that's awesome. Life is happy. It even has like the different specific imagery for the, the Quest. Um, inside Steam VR, so they obviously have the support for it. Things work just as smoothly as I dreamt that they would. Um, I'm still very new to this. This is like the second or third time that I've hooked my Quest up to my computer. But it's really easy, really fluid. I can't imagine it being any more like seamless than this. It just plug. It's like, hey, would you like to use the link? Yes. Because I think you can use the link cable just to charge your headset, obviously. It's just a really high-end USB-C cable, so nothing super special about that. But except for the fact that it's got this right angle, the Velcro, and obviously it's like 16 feet long. So it's perfect for all the needs. Anyway, let us know if you have any questions about setting up the link cable. I will do my best to respond and, let, and give you any advice that I may have. Um, other than that, that's just about it. Drop us a like if you're excited about Steam VR through the Oculus Quest. Uh, comment, subscribe, please. We're going to come out with so much more content with the Quest 2, with VR, and we'll keep you up to date with VR news. But anyway, that's this video. We'll see you next time.